You're early. Looking forward to your gift? Paimon, too. But we're also here to see how Nechka's doing. It can't be easy to recover from such a serious illness. And then there's Tlasoli. She had to give up what she loves. We just want to cheer them up. <laughs> I've already asked someone to swing by and let Tlasoli know we're coming. She's probably made all the necessary preparations. Let's go, then. Do you mind watching the story, Mish? I'll be right back. Here we are. Nice house, right? Give me a sec, I'll go knock. Flasoli, open up! They're here! Flasoli? Are you home? Open the door! That's strange. Huh, the door's locked. But she shouldn't be out at this time of day. Hey, Nechka! Nechka! It's me, Chevin! Open up, please! What if something happened to the two of them? What if Nechka got worse again? Let's not overthink things. They were doing just fine the last time I was here. Nechka was sleeping soundly in her room. Still, I told Tlasoli we were coming. Maybe she had to take Nechka out to get some medicine. Hey, what's that over there? Looks like a Tepetlasaur nest. That's right. Tlasoli has a Tepetli sore companion. If I remember right, its name is Iengu? When she was still in the forging business, she'd often have Iengu help with some digging work. But since Nechka fell ill, she hasn't let it dig much recently. Wait a minute. What the. This place is a mess! Iengu's nowhere to be seen either. Whoa, look at all these broken boxes! Something terrible must have happened! Oh, all right. I'll just find a place to hide for now. How is it that every single time Imish tells me not to go someplace dangerous, I end up running into danger? It's like her words have some sort of power over me. Maybe it's the Wyab's doing. The trap ended this cliff. Could the Tepetlasaur have climbed up the mountain? Let's head up there and see! Tlasoli's companion, though. Uh... Paimon still doesn't see any sign of Tlasoli. Hey, Traveler! Paimon! 
That's Chevin's voice! Come down, quick! Tlasoli's here! Huh? We just got up here and Tlasoli's back already? What a coincidence. Well, guess this means we should head back down. Uh... Why is the Tepetlasaur coming along? Whoa, hey, hey, don't run! You'll hit us! Iangu, come here. Are you being naughty again? <sighs> oh, that's a good Saurian. Oh, you must be hungry. Sorry. I'll whip up something for you later. All right, run along and play now. I'll come along in a sec. Huh? Oh, sorry, you two. I was waiting for you at home when Nechka... Well, she snuck out and ran off by herself. She said she just wanted to pick some flowers for our guests. But she ended up getting lost along the way. Luckily, I managed to find her before long. Yeah, Kevin told us she was just starting to get better. She's still very weak. The shock and the cold wind certainly didn't help, so she ended up with a slight fever. I gave her some medicine and now she's in bed, but it's nothing a good night's rest can't fix. That said, she won't be able to meet you today. I'm sorry you came all this way for nothing. Don't worry about it. We know she's still recovering. Chevin told us how serious her illness was. Her health definitely comes first. We were just dropping by to check on her. Yes, and to run away from eating her vegetables. She's a fast one, that's for sure. She jumps over chairs, hides under the table, then runs all around the house. I can hardly catch her. Seeing how she is now, that's already enough. I really couldn't ask for more. Hey, cheer up. This is supposed to be a happy occasion. We do appreciate that she tried to welcome us with flowers. Anyway, Tlasoli, about the thing I was telling you before. Yeah, what did you get us? Well, it's a blaze gem inscription. I made it from the purest ore, so it's almost completely resistant to erosion. The techniques used to make it are all rooted in ancient name forging. <laughs> Don't say that or the Wyab might smite me. The process just uses a few of the same techniques and materials. When I first made one, I didn't think it could serve any practical purpose, apart from the erosion resistance and the general aesthetic. But then Chevin suggested using the crystals to make a special kind of ornament. Blaze gem inscriptions made by an ancient name artisan. Engraved with words that never fade. Quite the sales pitch, don't you think? Wow, that description really does make it seem special. <laughs> Tlasoli's blaze gem inscriptions really are special, though. Word of mouth isn't always reliable. As information gets passed along, it becomes incomplete, forgotten, and sometimes even distorted. But the words inscribed on these crystals will stand the test of time. The inscription will never deteriorate, and the meaning will never get twisted. It's the perfect gift for a dear friend or significant other. You could even pass it down to younger generations. Yeah, let's get one! We can engrave our names onto it! Then once we find your brother, he can add his name as well! That way, our names will be together forever! <laughs> you deserve it! You saved me! And Nechka's birthday present. It's the least I can do to repay you. Chevin, I thought I told you. Don't you start acting shy too, Tlasoli. It's a great gift. I know how much work goes into one of your Blaze Gem inscriptions. Well then, thank you both. I'll have it ready as soon as possible. Then, I'll have you do the inscription yourself. Nechka should be well by then. She'll be very excited to meet you. Get ahead of ourselves. We don't even know how expensive that would be. You sure we have enough travel funds? Hold on. This isn't part of some scheme to make us spend all of our mora, right? Chevin? You never know. You do look like you have some savings to spare. No, don't listen to that traveler. You'll end up losing all your mora. <laughs> In any case, it's up to you. Also, if you don't mind, Tlasoli, I'd like you to help me repair my blaze gem inscription. I dropped it when I was attacked earlier. The rope and clasp both snapped, so I haven't been wearing it. I tried fixing it myself, but I just couldn't get it to stay. 
Could you help? Just leave it to me. I'll make it as good as new. Thank you, Chevin. For going all that way and... It was nothing. We all just want Nechka to get better. You're right. Yangu, behave yourself. I'll feed you in just a second. I'll have Chevin contact you once everything's ready, Traveler. Maybe we'll even line it up with Nechka's birthday. We can even have a little party. Oh, that sounds great! We'll look forward to all the good food! And we'll make sure we're ready to eat! Anyway, see you around, Fusoli! Look after yourselves. Nechka is going to be so happy to meet you.